I swept up both the stangs. I looked at him and said, what are you doing? And that was it. He, he took off and bit me. No, I know, he doesn't like that stuff. That's another bite. What do you do to handle that if he tries to bite Dang. me again? Right, because this is not about him. This no, is about right. Him right. And I, you know, I don't know what to do. That's why okay. we're here. So what we would call this, this is a moment, three opportunities where he can meet puppy Jesus. And what yeah. do I mean by that? He needs to know that if he tries to bite me, right. like he tried to bite right. you, right. well, he did bite you. Right, yeah. Right? He all but sent you to the hospital. Right. The only reason you need to go to the hospital when you cover that is because you're a what, trauma nurse, right? Right, yeah. So you're able to not clean like it at home. Yeah. Otherwise, that's a hospital visit Easy. all day. Yeah. And just for a side note, I sent that photo to a police canine friend of mine who has nearly 100 bites. Yeah. And I said, hey, I, I tricked him. It was a trick question. I said, hey, how would you gauge this on a scale of 1 to 10 yeah. for a police dog bite? He yeah. didn't have no idea of anything. Yeah. So, yeah. Here's a police dog bite. Yeah. What is your thought? You go, that's a solid 8 out of 10. Sure. Mm -hmm. So he cannot act that way. Right. Absolutely not. Now, it's, it's the same. His trigger is just a dominance thing. Don't touch me. Mm -hmm. You don't. I don't know you like that but he doesn't need to be like that. Right. He's like that because he can be like that because no one's telling him not right. to. Right. Now understand, no doesn't mean no to him. It's right. nothing, right. Right. all right? It, 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 if a little kid picked up a rock and threw it at me and hit me in the face with it, yeah. Johnny, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, it means nothing. You can start with that, Yeah. but if Johnny picks up another rock and yeah. thinks about throwing it, Johnny's gonna get his ass whooped. Right. It's yeah. as simple as that, mm -hmm. okay? Dogs don't understand timeout. And I don't give, and you can bleep this if you want, I don't give two what his history is. I don't care if he was abused right. or neglected. We're in the here and now. Right. Trust me when I tell you, he's not thinking about, woe is me, right. and I had a rough life. He didn't have a rough life. He's fine. Right. He's acting like this because no one set him straight yet. Right. That's all. That This type of behavior is absolutely unacceptable. Absolutely. 100%. Right? Right. So, and for those bleeding hearts at home or anyone that's concerned, like, oh, you're going to be hard on him. Well, this is the option. We're either hard as hell on him and get him back under control so he can live a normal life, or you're not going to be able to take him anywhere. He's got to be locked up when people come over. He's got to wear a muzzle because that's three bites right there. Easily. That's not, there ain't no question about it. That's three bites. So if he's not wearing the muzzle, that'd have been me getting tapped. Easily. Yeah. yeah. So. The problem is I don't think you're you're prepared or ready or able, and it's no, no fault of yours. No one's shown you how to correct that behavior. Right. Because that is just, there's no other question for it. Unacceptable, all right? Unacceptable behavior. And so I'm, I'm trying to think what would be worse than that for him to do? God, I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, that's, that's so not as bad as it gets. On a scale of 1 to 10, if he just wants to bite people for the, for the sake of biting them, um, if that's a level 10... What kind of correction do you think he needs for that? A level the 10 biggest correction, correction yeah. you can give him. That's, you know, it's fair. So, well, here you go. Right. so what happens is you can understand. Are you, are you filming this? Yeah. We'll spin around and face you. So check this out. Yeah. Let's say he was going towards me. You got me. Right. What if you deliver a correction to him and he thinks he's going to go at you? Well, my job is to protect you. See? Right. right, right. 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 All right. Like that. That's right. Yeah. So. Gotcha. And now there's a little bit of spinning dancing game that we have to be concerned with. Perfect. Yeah, see how he's stepping yeah, to me? I don't know. Exactly. That. Yeah, so what we might call that is big correction for small infraction. All right, so what I'm asking for you is an overcorrection. We got to take up some lost ground here, man. He's gotten away with murder. Yeah. Um, I gotcha. So, but we're practicing. Uh, What's the name on it? Basically, we have two lines, right? He's, he's kind of back tied from you to me. Right. He can't come at me because you got yeah, him. You got, you I, he come won't at come me. at you because I, so we're yeah. trusting each other here, right. okay? Yeah, I got you. This is what we do for extra aggressive dogs. Sometimes right. we might have this hooked up to a, a fence post or something. Yeah, yeah. So back tied. I got you. All right. And now I could actually potentially give a double correction. Right. You pop him now, I pop him this way. Yeah, got you. I don't think he's going to be that hard. I'm just very interested to see. But if he comes at you, I got to come in to come out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you could always pull them away from me first right. and, and then, then deliver and what then you need to deliver. But it's not as... It's not as so it's not it doesn't matter. You're in the realm of... You're in that one to three second window okay. all day. All right. 
all right? Okay. First, first rule is don't let this, we don't try not get bit. <laughs> not get bit, all right? yeah, yeah. So, and if things get really bad, now watch what happens. You will take steps, step away from me. Now, who's he gonna get? You can't get can't you, get you can't get me. And you can deliver corrections. All right, gotcha. Okay? Okay. So, cool. this is when, if he wants to wild out and thinks he's gonna go after anybody, mm -hmm. well, he ain't gonna get anybody. Right. Okay? All right? So Good. you're here to protect me, I'm here to protect you. And, and I want to see if you can handle it. Now, if you can't, then I will. Okay. Now, this is going to be interesting. What I was going to ask you to do is put him into a down. Okay. But I can. There you go. <laughs> like that. You yeah. understand? Yeah, hard. Okay, you're much harder than I did, but I, I didn't, yeah. Gotcha. So there's something called spatial pressure. Mm -hmm. That's Caesar Milan's closing, favorite trick. Closing the distance. It's called. All right, let's put it this way. You remember that uh, the guy from uh, Game of Thrones? The, the what they call the dude, the big dude. Yeah, yeah. I What's don't his know name? His name. I don't, I, yeah. I don't know. If he was there. walking down the street here, yeah, you can get out of his way. Yeah, right. right. You can, you're gonna say, man, that's a big dude. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Okay, so let's see who's the big dog. Right. It's not about like, let me be mean to the dog. No. Does he respect my space? Right. Okay, does he respect you and you? Gotcha. Wh whose street is this? Whose walk is this? So I'm just gonna use spatial pressure. Think, let's think back to when he was eating that uh, bit of uh, fluff on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. There's our fluff on the ground, right? Yeah. I'll put it closer. So, yeah, I gotcha. So I'm gonna throw this down. He may or may not sniff it. But then I'm going to claim my space. I get big, I'm going to push him out of the way. Right. If he doesn't like that and he tries to tag me, because yeah. he's either going to get out of my way or he's going to try me. Right. See how he doesn't, he's not quick to move, Yeah. but now I'm making a move. Right. But he wasn't quick to move no. on that initial. He no. just kind of stood there like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Well, I'm going to walk through you. Right. So I'm not kicking him, no, just I'm just through. pushing through him. See how he, he won't look at me now? It's not this, let me stare at you and try you. Now he's in avoidance. Right. I'll yeah, take that see. all day. Yeah, all yeah. day over trying to be a dick. It's hard to see his face with the muzzle, you know? Yeah. Why so, is he avoiding you? Is it because he just scared now? Respect. Because, okay. Respect. respect. Yeah. If we've got to remember that dude's name, the guy that comes in. What's his <laughs> name? I don't remember. It's been so long. Someone oh. post in the after comments that below. After that ending, I got rid of it. You that. filming yeah. or no? That ending sucks so bad, I wanted to forget the whole thing. I can't remember it. <laughs> I don't know if he has a beard. But if that guy comes in the room and stares at you, you're not going to like, what's up, dude? No, you're going to be like, oh, yeah. let me just walk over here. Let me just get out of the way. It's called like the tower, no. the wall. <laughs> Something. The castle. Just to see what his leash pressure is like. See the difference in the in the correction that oh, I gave oh, versus yeah. yours? Mm -hmm. Now notice I stopped at some moment, maybe three seconds in, give or take, mm -hmm. because it's at some point it's like right. there's the correction and then there's like abuse or he right, forgot right, what the right. hell even started. Right, right. Yeah. There's a quick three pops in that. Yeah. yeah. That was good. And I'm not mad at him. No. Not mad at me. We're back to normal. I basically did to him what he did to you right. in the bedroom there when right. he tagged you. Right. I just tagged him. Tag, 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 tag. He didn't come back at me. No. I got the sound I wanted. Hey, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, right. We good now? Don't do that shit. Yeah, don't do it. Let's yeah, take your time. There we go. Hang on. It might have been like corrected. It might have been. Yeah, he's a little more free now. You can film all this, right? Yep. You see that personality up, change? He's That's all right. Like this. Okay. These little spirits come up a little bit. Mm -hmm. You ready for it, yeah? Yeah, I'm ready. You good? Now you see when the mouth closes? Yeah. See, mouth opens good. Dogs don't bite from an open mouth. Right. 
they make a fist before they punch. Right. Okay? So closed mouth is what you want to be aware of. Aware of. That's now he may close it and then punch yeah, this fast, this yeah, fast yeah. but now if you half behave, <laughs> now he's not afraid of me. No, he's not. No, he's, not. he's looking right at me. You want some food? Yeah. If you're that cool, I'll be cool. Pull him that way. Because he'll take advantage of me going down. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He's, he's night and day right now. Yeah, like, I can That's trust him correct. way more now. Like, he seems like he listens better. Like, he understands. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See, it's no, better when just, we're not like on camera. Yeah. yeah. No, he just listens better to us. It seems like. I mean. I think this is what it was before. But we didn't have the tools to actually use it. We didn't know the tools. That's why the I told her. Proper tools, yeah. you know. Right. So I told her coming down, we're gonna get more out of this than he is because we need to know what we need to do. Yeah, it's 99 percent for you guys. Yeah. I mean, we have two other German shepherds, so we have to. Keep I'm already them thinking about them about doing oh, some all of this stuff. Will transfer yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So. I think before you had empty words. Right. You're no meant. Your sit meant right. Yeah, I'll just beat my chest, but they didn't care about now, it. So. Yeah, and now yeah. what we do, we let the leash do the yelling. Mm -hmm. Okay, what they say, talk quietly, carry a big stick, that's right. your big stick. Right. Now eventually you won't need to anymore. Right, because right. he's so respect it. When you said sit, I better sit. It's time to sit. Yeah. All right, enough yapping for me. Okay. All right, so pretty much uh, what's the biggest difference you guys saw? You guys see yourselves carrying this stuff, what'd you learn? You guys see so, you know, future ones. Go ahead, Anna. Um, Just the biggest difference that we've seen so far is him just listening to us better. Uh, following command and understanding us. What do you think? He's more attentive ever after the correction. Um, we never gave him a correction with some some power to it, you know, with some snap to where he is actually going to respect it. And the main thing is gaining his respect. Um, the other two dogs I have, I, I had them so young that they, you know, being loud with them was respectful. They understood, I, you know, I control their food. They could eat whenever they want. It's different when you get a dog that's already three and you don't know what's happened to him before. But to see him the way he he is in such a short period of time with a few uh, a few things, um, you know, it, it's it's this night and day. We're gonna take it forward with us. Um, there's a plane going overhead, so hopefully I'm talking loud enough. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna stay on top of him. We're not gonna let him get an inch without us saying so. And uh, he's gonna feel like we're Hitler, but that's just the way it's gonna be. And um, because we want what's best for him, we want him to be happy. But the only way he's going to be happy is if I'm happy, because if I'm not happy, he's not allowed to be happy. So that's what I've taken away from today. And, and you know, we want to make sure he doesn't attack anybody. And that's, that's the end of it. So we look forward to his progress. All right, we're nearing the end of the session. And um, already a big difference. Uh, we owe that a lot to the prong collar, to the owners uh, listening to my advice. Um, the heat, we let the summer heat, or we're kind of getting into fall, but the South Florida heat, you know, took a little bit of the fight out of them. Um, and really we had one correction back there. One correction, and it was a big correction. And this is why we call it a correction. It corrected his course, right? Now we're heading on a different path. No longer you're allowed to just bite whoever you want, whenever you want. There will be a, there will be a swift and severe consequence for misbehavior. It's as simple as that. And I don't know if we caught it on camera or not, but his actions of trying to bite me is like an 8, 10, 12 year old kid picking up a rock and throwing it at someone. You can't throw rocks at people. You're going to hurt someone. So uh, telling him no isn't getting the job done. First off, they don't speak English or in his case German or whatever. He doesn't quite understand at this point in time that no actually means something or fooey means something. Whatever word you want to use because it's really just been empty words. He's almost been like, uh, you're going to be on timeout. Don't do that again. If, if, if I may say, like, because they've never actually given a correction, they're off screen there, and we had some sidebar uh, when the camera wasn't rolling, but the most correction he's probably got was ignoring him growling, so that's missed opportunity. Uh, when he bit him last week, he was able to kind of alpha roll him, side submit him, but it obviously didn't bring the message home, because as soon as he let him up, he just got tagged again. So now, if he wants to bite someone, 
that's great. Now we have a prong collar on. It's as simple as this. We're going to speak his language. If you bite me, I'm going to bite you back. And I'm going to bite you back a lot worse than you even thought about biting me. And so that's the name of the game. Uh, now we're armed like he is, okay? And an armed society is a polite society, so they say. So it's kind of, not to get into political discussion, but he kind of understands the rules of the game now. And so he went from trying to kill me to he understands there's different rules at play right now. So you say, well, what happens if you take the prong off? Well, I don't know. I'm not going to play that game right now. We're going to stay like this for a while, rehabituate him to the new rules so he doesn't even know how to play but with these rules. That's the name of the game. So we're going to ask for the recipe for them is if he is not in his crate, if he is out and about, prong and leash hooked up at all times so that when he screws up or he thinks he's going to growl at someone, which is threatening them with a rock, I'm going to throw this rock at you. Oh, yeah? I'm going to hammer you right now. So it sounds a little extreme, but you're not going to fix this type of behavior with treats. So how are we going to fix this behavior? Am I supposed to give him a treat when he tries to bite me? You give a kid a lollipop when they, when they go to throw a rock? Absolutely not. And then the other thing is, and I say it all the time, you cannot put your dog on timeout. They don't understand timeout. Okay, you have the here and now to correct it. So it's just like if they reach for the cookie jar, the kid, you can smack the hand. It's the same thing. You go to bite me, I will bite you back. We're going to speak in their language. If he went to bite a dog that was bigger than him or badder than him, if he went to bite, let's say, Zephos, my Connie Corso, he's going to let him know in no uncertain terms right then and there, don't you ever do that again. So that's all we have to do. We did one correction back there and it's made a world of difference. But now we just have to stay on top of him because he's now getting habituated to his behavior here, out there, with me around. Okay, how's he going to be tomorrow at his home? And so on and so forth. So we said this probably off camera too, but we'll say it now. He's got a new job to do. He has, in his life right now is changing, his role. He needs to learn leash pressure, by the way, but he's getting there. With the owners at home, we gotta ask them a big question, I'll ask you at home. In your home, if we consider it a bar and a restaurant, are you the owner, are you the manager? Who's the maitre d', who's the bouncer, and who's washing dishes? Everyone has a role to do in that household. He's no longer the bouncer, he's no longer the owner or the manager. He's been delegated to washing dishes. That's his job. We're going to give him a job to do, whether that's a sit stay, down stay, healing, whatever it might be, he's got to do it and do it well. If he comes off the dishwashing station and thinks he's going to go to the front door and start checking people, he's got another thing coming. You got to put on your Gordon Ramsay hat and take care of business. Get him back to washing dishes. If he's really good at washing dishes, he's going to have a hard time checking IDs at the front door. That's the thought process. So we're going to lower him on the totem pole and take the owners, have to assume that leadership role and be on him like white on rice, all right? They're gonna have a real, uh, I just can't stress it enough, watch Hell's Kitchen or something. You know, put on your Gordon Ramsay hat, that guy doesn't let one thing slide. Nothing slides for him, all right? 30 days of perfection is what we're asking for. If you act like Krusty the Clown, your dog's gonna think it's a circus. If you act like a drill sergeant, you'll have a soldier. This dog is capable of being a soldier. In fact, it's, it's in his DNA. He'd probably prefer to do that than be a couch potato. So, enough yapping for me, I always talk too much. There'll probably be some more to come. Uh, but we're already seeing a big difference in him. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Come on.